What's up guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to make a simple base anime hair texture. This is the result, it's gonna be kinda procedural, so you can tweak it with whatever settings you want. First, we are going to add a light source. We can use sun for a simple setup. The purpose is just to make our mesh show like reflection and shadows. We are going to use default settings for the sun and all zero value for the transform like object. Now we are ready to make the shader. Go to setting interface, select your hair mesh, change the viewport to render view by pressing this button on top so we can see what happened when we modifying the nodes. I'm just going to copy my pre-made color setup here and I'm going to paste it on RGB nodes. So I'm going to use RGB node as the shortcut to change color value for many nodes color. Add a tune BSDF nodes by pressing Shift plus A, select search option, then type tune. Now connect the RGB color to tune color, then connect the tune BSDF to surface for now to see the result. Duplicate the tune BSDF nodes by pressing Shift plus D. To display these two tune shaders, we need to add mix shader nodes. Then we can connect the both tune BSDF node to mix shader, shader socket. Now you can also connect the RGB node to the second tune BSDF to get the same color type or you can change to the other color. I am going to connect it. It's up to you. Now we are going to add more stepping color. So just duplicate these nodes. As I mentioned before, you can use the color from the two nodes or just connect the RGB nodes. I'm going to use the same color so I connect the RGB nodes. Duplicate another mix shader to connect to the other mix shader. I want the two nodes to be oriented with the stepping color order. If you want to organize the nodes like I do, there is also a function to mute or unmute a node by pressing M. So you know where is the part that the node is working on. Change the tune shader size to make sure it's not the same value. Also, the value is should be lower on the top node and higher on bottom node. I'm also changing the tune on the red part to glossy mode from diffuse. I'm just want to change the effect to much more like like effect. The smooth value is basically for smoothing the stepping color. Highest value means more gradient or blurry. I'm using around 0 0.025 and 0 0.050. After you've done tweaking your tune shaders, add a anisotropic BSDF node. To combine the anisotropic with the other node, we need another mix shader. The anisotropic node is for making some sort of line of like effect. You can give it whatever color you like. I'm just going to give my RGB node color. I'm going to set the roughness to 0.7 the anisotropy value to negative 0.7 and 0 for the rotation. You can choose any anisotropic mode you want. I'm going to choose Backman mode because it's more sharper in my opinion. Okay, so that was all for the setting node. Now we are going to tweak the light effect. Go back to layout interface. Activate the render viewport mode. This is just my personal preferences. I'm going to split my viewport for view my front and back mesh part at once. Now I also want my front part to have the anisotropic effect, not just the back part. So I'm just going to rotate the x axis of my sunlight to around 70 degrees. But the back part is disappeared. Don't worry, we can fix that by adding more sunlight. I'm just going to duplicate my sunlight and change the duplicated sun x rotation to 0. I'm going to change the front part sunlight strength to 0.4, the back part sunlight strength to 1.5.
You also should decide to use the light shadow or not. If you're planning to use shadow, make sure to only check the cast shadow on one main light source, so it doesn't double cast shadow, except if you want the double cast shadow style. Okay, so after that, you can modify the lighting effect of your hair by adding point light, area, and etc. After you've done tweaking the lighting, now you can just do the baking progress. That was all for me, I hope you learned something new, thanks for watching, cheers!